I think whenever we go back uh, to point out what the project is, I always point out that the first volume has 1,700 bibliographic items that are mentioned by Hrushevsky. So why was the project, uh, you know, what, what had to be the goal of the project and how would we carry it out? Uh, the, we were taking a work that had been written uh, uh, long before, from the beginning of the 20th century to the 1930s or from the end of the 19th, but yet had not really entered the general scholarly discussions because its volumes were in, in Ukrainian. And uh, even uh, scholars in Russian history who claimed that Ukrainian was merely a dialect of Russian really could not read uh, Ukrainian all that well. So the goal was to make Ruszewski's voice available. Also, uh, the Ruszewski project had been from the start a project to show the continuity of development on the Ukrainian land of what might be called the Ukrainian ethnos or people, uh, and how that people had developed, and how it had changed over time, and how it had existed under various political systems. And in that, in many ways, Ruszewski succeeded within the context of Ukrainian uh, developments of uh, providing an academic proof for a long-term history, a thesis on Ukrainian history that stretched back even to the period before Kiev, Kiev and Rus. Uh, but uh, we were now going to be presenting this to an English audience or really an international audience. Uh, and therefore had to make sure, though we were exact in representing Ruszewski and his views, and that we translated all of these passages. And I might add, many of these passages and sources are not translated into Ukrainian in Ruszewski's work. They're given in various languages. And we had to make sure we had an exact translation. But we had to do much more than that. We had to fill in the kind of things Ruszewski had been unable to do, such as providing full bibliographies for his work. And that often meant hunting down all of the bibliographic items. And we, uh, as well, had to bring this up to uh, at least a discussion of what had occurred after Ruszewski wrote. We had to get top-notch editors who would write introductions to place Ruszewski's work in context. We uh, had to get bibliographers who would provide additional bibliography so that without changing Ruszewski, we would make these volumes more available to those outside. Now, the project could have never been uh, undertaken had we not had the basis of a center that was endowed. And that allowed us then uh, to have a staff which developed many other historical projects. We have a monograph series, Ukrainian language series, uh, gave out grants, but at the same time could consistently work on the Ruszewski project. Uh, I could not picture having done the project without the uh, managing editor, Ulana Pasichnik, who had been our editor of Harvard Ukrainian Studies. Uh, that is, we had known Ulana uh, I had known her working with her long before, and indeed Mr. Yatsik had known her from her Harvard days. Uh, so we were very fortunate that uh, she was here in Toronto. Uh, she was willing to undertake this project and to provide uh, that steady uh, hand at getting down all of the very complex editorial uh, rules that we had to do to carry out such a project. Our other issue was in the initial phase when we began, uh, it was unclear what would be happening in Ukraine. Uh, our first uh, consulting editor, the volumes have consulting editors, was Professor Andrzej Pope, <coughs> a very well-known specialist of old Rus uh, in, in, in Poland, uh, a scholar with a wonderful international reputation, uh, who over took over this issue of the bibliography uh, and as well as providing the other items. And we had the great fortune in our first volume, uh, and that was done, I might add, by my predecessor, Bogdan Kravchenko, before I arrived, uh, of engaging Martha Skorupska to translate volume one. Although I think the people involved had no concept of really quite what translating Bruszewski means. And whenever uh, this is discussed with me, 
I always suggest that the person take a volume of Ruszewski and translate, pick four or five pages to translate into any language that they choose. And I think they, that, that then gives a better feeling for it. We wanted to make sure that ours would be done on a superb level in every way. Uh, and we were fortunate that the Canadian Institute of Ukrainian Studies Press and all those involved uh, were sought to do this as well. Uh, I think uh, we have seen the handsomeness of the volumes that uh, this was first put out. There was a wonderful idea in the original stage uh, to take subscriptions to the whole set that Mar Maxim Tarnowski had. And this assured us that we would have a base and indeed additional capital at the beginning. Mr. Yatsik from the first saw that we were gonna need additional funding and he was very active. It was his idea to find sponsors for the volumes. Uh, and indeed, uh, he went out as well to recruit sponsors for the volumes. Uh, so these volumes would be done on, on that kind of level. And then as time went on, we could deal more and more with scholars in Ukraine. Uh, and we were very fortunate uh, indeed that uh, Miron Kapral and his group in Lviv became involved in this. Uh, Yaroslav Fedoruk, who frequently came to Edmonton. So as Ukraine opened up, we had new sources. And then, of course, we had dedicated translators. Uh, the idea that one person could tr have translated all that was, uh, we readily saw, was, was relatively impossible to, to, uh, to go through. It just, just could not be done. Uh, we have had a number of translators, some like Bogdan Struminski, who were major scholars in the field, some who were excellent translators, uh, I think Andrei Vinnitsky uh, for his style. But each translator had to then call in all kinds of consultants. And as time went on, we had the great advantage of internet and ability to communicate with people at distances. Uh, and this allowed us to bring more and more people into our project uh, as we worked on it. Uh, each volume uh, presented different problems, uh, sometimes uh, sad problems and sometimes uh, happy problems. The, uh, the, uh, uh, when I think of uh, Mr. Struminski, who uh, was translating the last of the volumes he worked on, he was very ill and, and he thought he finished it and he almost finished it. And, and his wife said, it's done. Uh, uh, I'll always remember his dedication uh, uh, in illness, in continuing on in the project as, as, as uh, we worked on it. So we were fortunate to have people who had tremendous dedication and as well, who had developed out of the height of the scholarship that began at Harvard, which concentrated on the medieval and early modern period, and in many ways was brought to the University of Alberta. Not only I came there, but also Zen and Fahut, a specialist in this period. We were very fortunate that Serhii Plokhi joined us, uh, a specialist on the Cossacks. He later wrote a major monograph on Hushevsky, so there were major works that came out of it. And as anyone who opens our volume sees, frequently the introductory materials are mini monographs in themselves. Later, we were able to even to deal with the Hrushevsky Museum in, in uh, Keio. There will always be new ways of looking at things. And Hrushevsky would have been the first to say that no problem is solved. When one wants to understand why Hrushevsky's work has stood the test of time, it is because he was above all uh, intent on presenting the sources and, and letting the sources lead him to where answers that he would come to. This is not that he did not have ideas, he certainly did. And there are many people today, rarely uh, would a scholar attempt to do what he did uh, uh, as we have presented these major volumes. Uh, but I think that as each volume came out uh, and we could show uh, a new period of Ukrainian history in Ruszewski's life and in others, 
we expanded uh, interest in the field. Uh, Mr. Jacek himself was always very pleased with the first volume uh, by Marta Skrupska. What a wonderful translator she was. I can still remember that uh, uh, on, on the level of the ways that these were translated. And uh, I think as well, we recently had, as we had the launch of our uh, final of the volumes, which turned out to be volume two, uh, I think that uh, uh, when we had our recent book discussion, uh, it was shown uh, how specialists in the old Rus could present what Hrushevsky could do, how it could give a new light and a new understanding of it.